This video is aimed to give you a top level insight into the basics of NAND flash technology, so let's dive in. To start off, let's take a look at the memory hierarchy to understand the difference between NAND and other types of memory. Generally speaking, primary memory at the top of the pyramid is closer to the microcontroller and boasts incredibly fast access times. Secondary memory is geared towards mass storage and often uses non-volatile memory. Primary memory consists of either ROM, read-only memory, which is non-volatile, or RAM, random access memory, which is volatile. The difference is their capabilities to store data even when there is no power. ROM is by nature read-only, which means it's permanent and very fast. Its non-volatile nature ensures data remains stored even when there is no power. The ROM is often where boot code and BIOS are stored. RAM is, as its name suggests, randomly accessed. It's volatile, meaning it needs power and acts more as temporary memory. This is where registers, caches, and the main memory is stored. Ultimately, the further down the pyramid one goes into the secondary memory, the slower, larger, and cheaper the storage becomes. At Swissbit, alongside our security solutions, our core business in regards to memory is based on this section, the NAND flash part of the pyramid. Building on this, let's take a look at the different types of NAND flash technology. The closer the voltage thresholds are, the more prone to an error the technology is. As you can see in this image, SLC only has two programming states, 0 and 1. And since they are further apart, they are less prone to errors than higher density flashes like TLC and QLC. On the other end of the spectrum, we have QLC, which has a total of 16 different programming states. As you can see, they are pushed a lot closer together and are therefore naturally prone to more errors. What also exists are pseudo modes. A little bit more complex, they can be based on MLC, TLC and QLC flash technology. Pseudo modes use two available programming states with distance between the thresholds. The voltage thresholds between are then removed. It's important to note that PSLC does not use the maximum threshold distance to reduce programming stress. That means that PSLC based on TLC has a similar quality to native SLC, but at a lower cost. This can be desirable for many. Nonetheless, it's important to communicate your data workload and use case requirements to Swissbit, so we can best assist you in purchasing the right product based on the right technology. Finally, well over a decade now, we moved from horizontal planar 2D NAND flash to vertical 3D NAND flash. This allowed manufacturers to physically use more space on a wafer by using the third dimension. That means we now see storage modules using PSLC mode based on 3D TLC, for example. Let's come to the trade-offs or the pros and cons of the different flash types. SLC has the lowest density, QLC the highest. Due to the distance between the voltage thresholds, SLC has a lower error probability compared to QLC where these 16 programmable states are pushed closely together. The write speed and performance of SLC is the fastest compared to higher density flashes like TLC and QLC. SLC flash technology is the most expensive, which is where the pseudo modes come in handy. Using a cheaper TLC flash in PSLC mode can ensure a similar level of quality, but at a substantially cheaper price. SLC has the highest data retention compared to higher density flashes like TLC and QLC. And finally, SLC has the highest endurance with around 100,000 program array cycles compared to that of QLC, which has a substantially shorter lifespan with only around 1,000 program array cycles. So who makes these flashes? There are a number of vendors who design NAND flash, and while they are all generally doing the same thing, there are differences in regards to their roadmap and industrial focus. This is why Swissbit works closely with flash vendors who design high quality NAND flash for industrially demanding applications. Finally, the price of the flash drives the price of the storage system. Since the price of NAND flash is incredibly volatile, the price of storage modules and systems are the same. 
Be it a 2.5 inch SSD or a USB stick, all modules see extreme price fluctuation and it's important to be aware of the NAND flash price and how it impacts the overall price of a module or system. To learn more, get in touch with our global sales team and subscribe to be notified for future videos.